Happy Monday, lovers. Yes, rocking the, the USC today. I do I did go there. I have a degree in political science from there, if anyone cares, which is super random, but whatever, hey, I'm here. Um, yeah, not a lot of Nailgasm updates. Uh, this week should be pretty crazy. I have like five shoots scheduled, I think, something like that. Um, and then, yeah, last week I did a lot of thank yous and I realized I left out some, some key people. And um, the first of which is Jazzy, who I started Pistol Etiquette with. She's this amazing graphic designer. She did the Nailgasm logo, she did my logo, she's just off the chain. So please look her up, hire her for all your design needs. The next is John. He is a videographer, photographer, photojournalist who's from here, he lives in Brooklyn now, but we met and, you know, he found out about Nailgasm and he was like, let me know if I can help you in any way, shape, or possible. So, I did let him know and he came with me to Japan, or he met me in Japan, rather, and like, really was like, super cool and helpful and did a lot of the amazing shots that you see in, um, the J J Japan footage in the Nailgasm trailer. So thank you so much, John, I really appreciate you. And third is Sister Girl, who furnished these wonderful earrings. She also donated earrings to the people who funded my Kickstarter, who did the $75 or more. But if you weren't one of those people, you can still get your Sister Girl earrings if you go to her Etsy shop. And it's Sister Girl, S-I-S-T-A-R, Girl, G-I-R-L. So look her up. She has amazing jewelry. And I think she has new jewelry coming out, I'm pretty sure. So please look her up. I've been really blessed over the years to be around super, super amazing people that are just very helpful and always give great advice. And one of these people is uh, Dennis Cowan, who I worked with or worked for um, fresh out of college. I got an internship in the animation department at BET. And one day he saw me and I was really frazzled and like freaking out and he was like, what's wrong? And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life after college. Ah, he's like, okay, chill. We're going to have a meeting. We're going to tell me what's wrong. We're going to figure this out. And so we had a meeting and I just kind of like poured my heart out how nervous and freaked out I was about like finding a job or whatever after college. And he was like, don't worry about it. Relax. Because as long as you're doing everything in your power to achieve your goals, the odds will be for you and not against you. And for some reason that really resonated with me and it just stuck with me for the rest of my life. And so whenever there's something that I want to do and I want to accomplish, I make a list. Like these are my goals. Here's what I want to do. And then I figure out, okay, what's everything I could be doing possible to make this happen? And that's what happened with Kickstarter. This documentary was really scary to do. It's very scary putting yourself out there. Like, what if people hate it? Who wants to see a documentary about nail art? I don't know what's gonna happen. So that was like such a scary process for me. And lo and behold, you know, after countless, countless marketing efforts, like every day I was doing something different to get the word out and emailing all these different people and it, and it finally paid off. So please just remember, as long as you're doing everything in your power to achieve your goals, the odds will be for you and not against you. And there's a really great example of this in Nailgasm with Sophie Robeson. She was a single mom when she started doing nails. And, you know, she worked her ass off. She did what she needed to do. She's very business savvy and she's doing great now. So kudos to her. And you'll see more of her story in Nailgasm. So just remember, as long as you're doing everything in your power to achieve your goals, the odds will be for you and not against you. Don't, don't freak out. Everything's going to be fine. You just have to, one, most importantly, figure out what it is you want to do. And then from there, make a list and figure out, okay, here was everything possible I could be doing to achieve these goals. And so some of you are like, well, I'm, I don't know how to do that. And a lot of it is just being organized. Like I'm very anal when it comes to being organized. And so this is my, this is my nailgasm binder. Anything that pertains to nailgasm is in here. And like I've got notes and interviews and goals. And so just have somewhere to write it down helps a lot. And then I also have my calendar and I actually get made fun of a lot for this because I'm super anal when it comes to being organized I write myself post-it notes like you like it, it's real out here 
with this organization life. So just be organized and you know, you'll figure it out and it'll help you keep a visual reminder, okay, this is what I need to do every day and stuff like that. And so um very fortunate to have met Dennis Cowan. No idea where he is now, but I hope he's doing well. Um, I also keep getting requests about how people can donate. If you go to nailgasmdoc.com, on the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a donate button, and you click that, and it'll take you to PayPal. You can do it that way. The Kickstarter fundraiser is over, so you can't donate there anymore, but if you want to donate, you can donate with the donate button on nailgasmdoc.com. Or you can go to the store, which is nailgasm.bigcartel.com, and all the links are on my website, which is nailgasmdoc.com. And uh, yeah, that's it. So it should be a pretty crazy week for me. Lots of interviews, lots of fun stuff to do. Um, yeah, have a wonderful week, and we shall chat again next time. Bye!